Well, good afternoon, everyone. Darren Saul, episode 166 of Playing With Perspective, the Suspended Animation Podcast. We've got a really fun show. Melanie Colling is in the house. How are you, Melanie? Hey, Darren. How are you? So uh, happy to be well. here. Thank you. Thanks for joining me. Now, Melanie is a fellow podcaster. She does all sorts of other work around collaboration. And today, the topic of this show is collaborate to accelerate. I just love that because I'm just preaching that all the time. I think collaboration in business these days is so important. And I think it's just something that, you know, we're really going to be enjoying ch chatting about today. But before we do, I'll just give everybody a little rundown into who Melanie is. So Melanie Colling is the founder of Purpose Driven Projects, the co-founder of Experts On Air, podcast booking agency, the host of Business Connections podcast, and an Amazon International best-selling co-author of You Are a Genius. Melanie provides entrepreneurs and business leaders with a proven framework and strategies to accelerate their business through project leadership, podcasting, connection, and collaboration. So welcome, Melanie. Thanks, Darren. Well, you've done it all. <laughs> I have to bow this down to you now. <laughs> uh, I won't tell you how long it's taken. <laughs> I know. All the work behind the scenes, is people don't realize what goes into it all. Exactly, exactly. But I, I do love this topic, collaboration um, to accelerate or collaborate to accelerate because you know, let's chat about that. You know, what's your take on how important collaboration is these days? And I know you have a phrase you call the connection economy. Yeah. So let's chat a bit, a bit about that. Cool. So I love um, collaboration. I just think um, my background's been in corporate. So, you know, we always go competitive. <laughs> um, and, you know, I think in the entrepreneur world, if we take that our road, it's a very hard road to go down. Yeah. Um, so the road of collaboration is much easier. It's much more fun. Yeah. You get to work with some cool people. Um, and it's all about how can you help each other? And that's really what we're in business to do, isn't it? We start a business to, you know, help people with our knowledge or our product. Um, and it's like, you know, how, what if you could do that times 10? you know, by collaborating with someone and having a bit of fun along the way. So that's what it's all about. Um, and so, I, yeah, I just help people open up the opportunity to collaborate. Um, the term connection economy came from Seth Godin. And if you know anything oh, about yes. marketing, the awesome um, Seth Godin, and he talks about um, the connection economy. So coming out of the industrial age and we're moving into the connection economy. Okay. Um, so, you know, where we were, you know, building things and creating products and things um it's now about you know who do we know and who we're connecting with and about building relationships and really that's what business is um and that's behind all businesses is you know connecting and collaborating with people basically 100 percent and leverage like i always like to use that word leverage yes leverage everything we've learned we have to leverage other people's knowledge their connections what they can teach us like leverage, leverage, leverage. It's all about connecting and, and collaborating and doing things, you know, with other people and you don't have to recreate the wheel. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it just makes it so much easier, doesn't it? You know, like yeah. working with someone that compliments you and, you know, understanding what you value you each bring um, and then how can you pull that together and then serve your client or community, industry, niche, whatever it is. And so you do a number of different things, obviously. So tell us a bit about that journey and, and how does that, how do you manage to fit all that in? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's been a kind of a long journey. Yeah. Um, so as I said, you know, my background is corporate in project management and I've done that for, you know, 20 plus years, which makes me sound really super old. Um, so that's scary. Um but I always knew I wanted to do something else. I was always looking for something else. You know, started all these multiple businesses all over the place and, you know, some worked, some didn't. Yeah. And, um, you know, I came out of um, corporate and created purpose-driven projects because obviously, you know, project management background. So help people um, like small to medium businesses um, grow their business through projects. And so that's how um, I kind of came out of my corporate role. But I also had the opportunity to go and work in Bali at that same time so that was really my stepping stone oh, out you. 
Yeah, so I moved the family over to Bali and um, I was able to host and facilitate some business accelerator programs over there. Oh, um, it's part of Bali. I love Bali. Oh, yeah. It's, um, so we were in a resort that was between Ubud and Sunua. Okay, yep. Okay. Yeah, so, and, you know, I love Bali and just the culture and, yep. you know, having the opportunity to go and work over there. So we had, you know, entrepreneurs coming from all over the world. Wow. And this is pre-COVID days when you could all travel and, you know, people moved around. Um, so, yeah, entrepreneurs coming from all over the world, you know, coming together and learning, you know, how do they accelerate their business? And, you know, a lot of that was around, you know, connection and collaboration, but also knowing who they were and their profile and, you know, um, what role they should be doing in their business and, you know, how to build a team and all that kind of stuff. So um, I had that opportunity. So that was actually my stepping stone out. Um, and then, you know, it's just been through people that I've met, people that I know, you know, like we were talking about before, you know, business partner who said to me four years ago, hey, <laughs> let's do a podcast. We should do a podcast together. And I was like, what's a podcast? <laughs> um, you know, now everyone's podcasting. Um, but it was just things that happen like that, you know, off the cuff comments or people that you meet and opportunities come about. So that led me down into the path of podcasting um, and the booking agency, which is super cool because, you know, we get to meet really awesome people um, and help them, you know, get out and speak to more people and let the world know what they do yeah. um, through podcasting. Um, and yeah, and the book came around. It's a collaboration book. So it's a it's a book of, you know, 18 entrepreneurs and their stories of how oh, they wow. realized um, how they learned what their profile was um, and how they use that in business and change their life, basically. And so my story's in there, um, but some other super cool stories. And that was a really fun project to do because it was with 18 other people. Okay. Um, and yeah, we did a um like a launch and you know we became bestseller on amazon in in i think 12 countries and yeah, really? it was so fun doing it with you know all these other people because you know how boring would it be just by yourself like yeah. celebrating that but we got to celebrate all together which was cool oh wow and do you like the variety of doing lots of different things i do um i'm kind of yeah, I, I get a bit bored if I just do the same thing, as you could probably tell, because, you know, my my journey has kind of been a bit winding rather than the straight road. Um, but I think that's part of the fun of it, too, is, you know, just uncovering opportunities and going, yeah, OK, I'll, I'll go and, you know, try that and do that. Um, but, you know, I always come back to people um, and then ultimately projects and, you yeah. know, kind of helping people move forward and, and get organised and get stuff done and, you know, follow their dreams and whatever they want to do. Yeah. And I mean, that's it really brings me to a great question because I often reflect on this and people ask me this and I ask other people this, but when you do a few different things, do you feel that it's more beneficial for you or do you think it detracts from your focus in any one thing? I've always reflected on that myself and I've kind of found that I just like the variety, so I do it because I like it. But what's your view on that? Yeah, I'm with you. And I think everybody's different as well. Um, but, you know, it's so funny because you read so many business books and it's like niche, 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 yeah. and, you know, follow one thing and you'll confuse everybody. Yeah, that's right. um, but then I read recently um, Marie Folio's book. Um, hang on, what's it called? Oh, yeah, Everything is Figure Outable, oh, like um, which is awesome. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, Marie's really cool. She um, has B school. Um, and so she talks about being, um, oh, she's got a term for it. It's like um, not multi talented, but it's like dexterous. Yeah, multi focused or something. Yeah. And it's like, it's okay if you like lots of different things, yeah. like use that as your superpower rather than like trying to focus one thing. Because if you do that, you'll kind of be bored and you won't be fulfilled enough because you are. <laughs> You do like multiple things. So, you know, just try and weave them into, you know, something that makes sense when doing them all together. And, and also, you know, you might learn and enhance and hone in so many great skills in one area that are going to help you in another area. Absolutely. If you never did that, you would never have those skills. So it's interesting, you know, that whole, I always reflect on that, but, you know, I've just kind of settled on the same path as you and to say, I just enjoy it, so I'm going to do it. That's right. And who's going to tell me otherwise? Who's going to tell me otherwise? I'm in charge now. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Love it. So, um, Melanie, I love also the way you talk about the connection or the collaboration, the currency. Oh, yeah. What is that? Explain that to us. 
So really your collaboration currency is knowing your value. So we touched on that a little bit before, but it's like, what do I bring to the table? Like, what's my value? And then how can I bring that to somebody else's network, community, organisation, industry? Um, so knowing your value is really important because then you can go into a potential collaboration knowing how you can add value to them and opening up that conversation yeah. um, to say, you know, I know that you do this with this, you know, network. Um, you know, what if you added this on and, and I could bring this to your network and, and add value that way? Um, and actually understanding the value that you bring to those, well, then that's the way that you can start those collaboration conversations. I like that. And I suppose it also um, that boils down to what you can say no to as well, because you value your, what you can bring and what, and you value your time. Exactly. You're it's like say a, yes to everything. Yeah. It's like your little compass. It's yeah. like, you know, which way am I going to go? And you know, that's right. Opportunities can come to you too. And you can say, well, actually that's not mm. uh, where I want to go or it's not where my value lies. Uh, yes, I could do it. And we sometimes do get caught in that you know, because we're multi-talented um, and multi-focused, um, we can do a lot of things, but should we be doing them? Um, and so knowing your value and where you want to go uh, with that's really important because, yes, it helps you say yes or no. Yeah, it is. I like that. It's your internal compass. I like it. Yeah. yeah. I love it. The connection, collaboration, currency. Yeah. I'm going to remember that. <laughs> now, we have to chat about podcasting because obviously it's a big passion for both of us. Yes. So tell us about your podcast and your booking agency because I'd love to, and you know, what are the benefits of people using a booking agency? Yeah, cool. So my podcast started, as I said, you know, Brett rang and said, hey, let's do a podcast together, which we did. And we, we were just interviewing people that we knew, you know, fellow entrepreneurs. Um, and I really love to hear people's stories. So that's really what mine was all about. It's called Business Connections. Um, you know, it's people that I've connected with and I kind of ask them, you know, what connection in your personal life or business life has made the biggest impact yeah. on you? And there's some really cool stories that, you know, come out of that. It could be a mentor or, you know, a parent or a teacher or, you know, someone they've come across or it could be just some something random that happened to them that changed their direction. So, um, you know, for me, it was... Um, me being interested in people and a good excuse to talk to them yeah. and you know it's so cool when you especially people that you've kind of you know follow and and you know of um and you'd really love to connect with them and have a conversation it's so cool to go hey i'd love to interview them on, on my podcast rather than saying hey can i have 30 minutes of your time and they'd be like well oh, no, i'm busy say, like a, having a podcast or inviting someone on a podcast is like the best um, icebreaker the best marketing hack there is it's so cool Incredible. and hardly anybody says no I think I've had yeah. one person say um, no because I'm busy but yeah. contact me later but yeah. most people are like yeah cool I'd love to be on your podcast like they're really yes. honored that you've asked them yes, really. um, say no. <laughs> so it's an awesome you know connection tool basically Absolutely. Um, and then the booking agency came out of, um, you know, people knowing that we were into podcasting um, and saying, how do I get on more podcasts? Like, can you help me do that? Um, and we were meeting other hosts that's saying, you know, do you have anybody that talks about this subject? Um, and so it kind of happened organically. Yeah. Um, and so we created the booking agency and we now help, um, you know, hosts find expert guests. Um, and we also help the guests find the right hosts to speak to. And, and also for hosts, it's, it's nice, you know, it's important for you to get the right guests, but also that they do the right thing after the podcast, like share it with all their network and, you know, promote the podcast because that's really what you're there to do. You're there to have a great conversation. You're there for that person to add value to your network, but you also want them to share that they've been on your podcast because that helps you grow your podcast and what you're doing. So ultimately podcasting is the ultimate collaboration, right? Oh, it's like you're right. Like podcasting is the ultimate collaboration and it's the ultimate fuel for creating content. Yeah. 
And it's such an easy and fun way to do it, right? It's just through talking. Like, I love talking. You love talking. It's just easy, isn't it? Like, I'd rather have a conversation and talk to someone than have to write something down. It's not my thing. Some people are really good at writing and they love that stuff. Um, But, you know, that's not my bag. Um, So it's, yeah, bringing those two together and helping create a win-win-win. So a win for each the guest and the podcast host, but also for the you know, the people that you guys are talking to and sharing that with and, you know, helping them and adding value um, to those people and, you know, teaching them stuff or, you know, educating along the way. Um, And, yeah, we just, you know, got this cool group of people that were, you know, really great guests that could add value to, you know, the different hosts. Um, And we've had some really cool things that have come out of it, like, you know, people have gone on to work together after that um you know someone's done a we've sent a guest on a podcast and the host has said hey (laughs) I need you to help me with you know whatever he was doing um and he became a guest and that was like a five thousand dollar sale just off the back of having a half an hour chat so you know and then the podcast is out there forever like it doesn't go away um and so people can listen and they get to know you and I think you know, the power of podcasting is really they get to know your personality because you can get that across, which is really hard to get across in written form. Um, so, yeah, I just love it. <laughs> and do you work, do you match people up overseas or is it more in Australia or everywhere? Yeah, everywhere. We're, glo- we're global now. <laughs> it's a global marketplace. Yeah. So, uh, um, obviously, we started because there was no podcast booking agencies in Australia, New Zealand, like Australasia. Um, There were a couple in the US, in Canada, and in the UK, um, but no one that really focused on Australia. So, that's kind of where we started. But then we found hosts all over the place. And then, you know, guests started to come to us to say, hey, can you help us? And we've heard, you know, this guest. And so, yeah. We, we quite quickly went global. Um, so it doesn't matter where you are. It's more about, you know, can you both add value to each other um, and also to value to the audience. Definitely. And I always say, I mean, like putting a podcast together takes a lot of work. You know, there's a lot of preparation involved. The, produ- the production of the podcast, you know, can take a while, but a lot of the time it doesn't. But the promotion of the podcast is so important. And that's where a lot of the magic happens. And a lot of people kind of, don't realize how much they have to promote that one show. Say they've been a guest on an, on an episode or on a podcast. They really have to work that um, episode to the nth degree to get as much traction as they can. Yeah. A lot of the time they don't realize that. They think, oh, yeah, I've been on the show. I should have my phone call ringing off the hook tomorrow morning. That's it. <laughs> doesn't happen (laughs) exactly and that's what we make sure we do with our guests is that we follow them up um and and once we get the you know the link from the host um that we give them some um some formatted um text you know for them to go and post so we make this you know some hosts give that you know some don't but we you know share the link give them some um visuals some graphics to go and post around we just make it as simple as possible because we know everybody's busy but you know if you can just cut and paste and go and post it on all your social media but you're so right that's the most important thing you know some people just go oh I've done that podcast interview oh, no. Tick. Don't take it off. let's book the next one next week but yeah that's right but they forget but also what you're saying on that podcast is your collateral as well as the host's collateral so you can use that like you know download it and you know transcribe it and create a blog from it or you know take some quotes from it and all that kind of stuff so where you would be sitting there going oh I've got to do some content planning and you know do some marketing like you've just done it but you need to reuse it in the right way and take take some uh, take the video take the raw video chop it up yep um put it into a few little bits you know put it through some other um caption software or caption services and yep. you can make some great content out of this stuff so i'm um, like that's what i do whenever i finish a podcast episode i give my guests the actual raw files for them to use for their marketing because that's where the magic happens absolutely and that's why we're all doing it isn't it so that we can share with more people what we do yeah. and so you'd be crazy just to do the podcast and then not share the content of that to everybody that you know yeah, definitely. <laughs> so everybody out there that's going on podcasts 
milk yeah. them, milk them. Yes, that's right. And then reuse it. Like Hell people yeah. think, oh, we have to create the more content. But no. go back to interviews you did a while ago and, you know, go and reuse that and, and post it. So, yeah, it doesn't have to be that hard. You can make it done, easier on yeah. yourself. I've done so many episodes, you can have content for the next six months. No problem. Exactly, Easy. exactly. <laughs> And so I'd love to hear a bit more about your business, your other business, Purpose Driven Projects. Yeah. Tell us more about how that's working now, especially in this time, you know, when everything's on Zoom. How do you how do you work with that now? Yeah. So, um, well, funnily enough, that's grown over the oh, COVID. Right. Um, so uh, I have a client over in the UK, actually, that their business grew because of COVID and um, they do online webinars in the vet industry. Okay. Um, and there was lots of people that had face-to-face -face events and they needed to take them online. Um, and so they had the tools, the technology, the team to do it. So they just built another arm of their business. So they took on, you know, um, at the start, it was three project leads or event leads, and then it was six. And so it was like, oh my God, we've got all these people and you know, can you help us organize them? And, yeah. you know, put some plans in place and all that kind of stuff. So um, that's pretty cool. And we've been working on a number of different projects and just, you know, done their annual plan and um, kind of got them you know, organised and into a rhythm. So that's been fun working with them and, you know, seeing their business really grow over a time that, you know, some businesses have been really, really challenged. Um, and so they've been able to kind of change a little bit um, and do that. Um, and, yeah, like project management, it's cool because you get to, like, learn all different stuff. Like, who knew I knew anything about the vet industry, but now I do know a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. um, but it actually all starts with, you know, I mentioned a few times like profiling, it's around knowing yourself. Yep. So we went through and they all had been profiled and I used two different tools. One's um, talent or wealth dynamics and one is contribution compass. Um, and it's just about knowing yourself and then also knowing the rest of your team and then understanding how you all work together. Yep. What's your strengths? Um, you know, are you in the right roles and doing the right thing for, you, for your strengths? Um, making sure people balance out, you know, where you're not so strong, all that kind of stuff. And then it's like, okay, let's make a plan of how we're going to move forward and what's our strategy and, you know, put some rhythm in place and um, some checks and measures and that kind of thing so we can make better decisions moving forward. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Do you specialise in any particular industry or you, you kind of work industry no um people ask me that all the time but i think with project management you can kind of go into various in my corporate world i was it and infrastructure but oh, that's wow. just because that's where i started off and that's kind of the journey um and i've done projects in you know vet industry mining um yeah all different you know banking all different uh projects which is like you know being um multi-focused um, you know, I like the variety and, and to learn about new industries and, and new areas. And does that mean are you very structured? Do you wake up in the morning at the same time every day? Do you have your, your whole day planned or how do you work? I try, I try, I try, but sometimes I'm not very good. <laughs> so um, my profile, I'm, I'm a supporter profile or a champion profile, which is I'm all about people. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, I kind of know I should have structure, but then I push against having structure because I don't want to, you know, have I want to have the freedom to choose. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think, you know, if I go back to my project management background, like if you don't have that structure and you don't have those things in place, that's when it all starts falling apart. So I know when I've got deadlines or I've got something to hit or I need to deliver something, um, I need to get back into that structure. Um, and I know kind of when I'm wandering off and, you know, going down a different path that I shouldn't, yeah. it's like, yeah, okay, get back to the rhythm um, and all that. So I'm trying to be better. Yeah, but you know, I mean, then you then you throw lockdown into the middle of it, and then right, it, you know, right. you've got homeschooling and yeah, you know yeah, all yeah. of those challenges. Oh, so yeah, tough. I try my best. Yeah, I mean, I don't have kids, so for me, it's it, like, you know, lockdown is even easier because I'm just at home. I can't do anything, and I'm very can be quite structured. But when you throw kids into the mix, oh my god! Yeah, that must they're always the hungry. Dynamic. <laughs> wow, <laughs> and competing even just for technology and you know bandwidth and you know whatever else is in and, and you know hardware right. and whatever else is happening yeah Space. can you be quiet i'm recording a podcast yeah, yeah. don't come in <laughs> <laughs> it's all fun <laughs> oh, wait. fantastic well done 
And so have you had any great stories of, you know, where you've opened someone's eyes to the power of collaboration, you know, with a podcast and their work and their business has just taken off through the roof? Yeah. So, um, oh, so many stories. It's really cool. Right. Like I said, you know, that one that we booked and um, the host then became a, a client of that person, you know, they had recorded it. And as soon as they got off the recording, they're like, can you do this for me? Like, I need everything that you just said, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Um, and, you know, there's always also been other instances where um, someone was contacted um, and they'd never worked with this person before, but they said, oh, um, it wasn't a question of, you know, can you do this and, you know, can you help me do that? It was like, are you available on this date? <laughs> and they said, oh, yes, okay. Wow you know, well, what are you looking to do? And so they explained and they said, how did you hear of us? And then, oh, you're all over the place. Like we, we heard you on a podcast then we asked about you and everybody knew who you were and gave you great feedback. And so we're just reaching out to say, can you do this for us? So yeah, it changes the whole sales cycle almost because you don't have to go through all that sale. Like people already know you and know what you can do because you've shown them. Yeah, I love that. That's so important. I think, you know, from a psychological point of view or the psychology of sales, you're doing all the work up front. So people get to know you, like you, trust you. Yeah. And then they just make a call. So yeah, we know you just, just book, I want to book you in. Just do it. <laughs> Whereas, you know, if you're, if you haven't got that information out there or you're not accessible in that way, you've got to do all the work to prove yourself. Yeah. So that's just another reason why podcasting is so powerful. Yeah. And collaboration is so powerful because you can really get your messages and your ethos out there before you even start. That's right. And people know if you're going to be a fit for their organization and they know your personality and they know the knowledge that you're sharing is yeah. going to be what they want before you've even had a conversation. So how cool is that, that, you know, you could be talking to, you know, potential clients, but you don't know. And just when they're ready, they'll, you know, reach out to you. Absolutely. So hopefully we've convinced everybody to start their own podcast. Yes, come on. <laughs> Get on as many podcasts as you can. Exactly. Because, you know, we're here to tell you that it works and it's so much fun. And what the hell are you waiting for? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And it's so easy. Like, what, what are we doing? We're on Zoom having a conversation, yeah. aren't we? Like, everybody's it's doing it now. Yeah. <laughs> we're just recording ourselves. <laughs> That's right. There's nothing wrong with that. Well done. <laughs> Oh, awesome. Um, and any, what about you? Anything new happening on the horizon? Any new books? Any new collaboration projects? Oh, yeah. So um, no new books, but, you know, a couple of collaboration projects. I'm always, you know, got things kind something. of bubbling along. Yep. Um, but yeah, I'm just, you know, either connect, reconnecting with people that I've known for a while that, you know, just reaching out to say, hey, what are you doing? Because, um, you know, everybody kind of goes on their little journey and it's nice to just reach out to different people to say what you're up to, which is, you know, um, raised some opportunities uh, yes. in that space. Um, yeah, and then just new, uh, like even just speaking to a couple of girlfriends when we weren't locked down, um, they'd started new roles and they're like, oh, God, my team, my new team, they're driving me crazy. And, <laughs> you know, I need them to do this, but they won't. And, and I said, oh, you just need to profile them and, you know, work out what they are and why they're doing that and then how you can get them to work better. And they're like, oh, my God, that's awesome. Can you do that? So, you know, just by having a conversation like that, there's some opportunities that come up. So that's pretty cool. Oh, awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to following to see what's up next. <laughs> Watch this space. Watch this space. <laughs> awesome. Well, Melanie, thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure work, uh, talking to you. But let's tell all the listeners how we can find you. Perfect. Um, so my website is uh, melaniecolling.com. Yep. Um, I'm all on social media. So just search for me, melaniecolling.com. Um, <laughs> oh, you know, Facebook, Instagram. I think I'm across all of those. And if you want to know more about the podcast booking agency, that's at Experts on Air. Um, dot fm um, and just go to the podcast booking agency and also if you want to create your own podcast you know we do help people do that as well so um, you know if you're ready to take the plunge <laughs> and if you want to buy another book buy the book yeah exactly it's on amazon so go for it <laughs> on, uh, is it an audio book as well uh yes there is a kindle oh. version oh there you go uh yeah, yes fantastic. awesome right, yeah. well, Got lots of stuff to put in the show notes. I'll put all those links in there for everybody. That would be awesome. Thank you. 
Perfect. Absolute pleasure. And anything you'd like to leave us with before we finish up? Just have a go. Like, you know, reach out to people and, yeah, like understand your value and if you want some help with, you know, digging into what that is. And um, But, yeah, start rather than, you know, thinking, oh, I've got to find clients, like maybe you could find collaboration partners instead. I love that. And, and yeah. know your collaboration currency. Yes. That's brilliant. <laughs> I love that. That's just awesome. I'm going to use that. Awesome. Thanks, well Darren. Done. Well, thank you very much, Melanie. It's been an absolute pleasure. Everyone out there, I hope you had fun. And I'm going to put all those links in the show notes. So check out all those different things that Melanie has to offer. And we'll see you back very, very soon for another episode of Playing With Perspective. Bye for now. See ya. <laughs>